December 3, 2023. Ukraine war, approximately nine years and ten months into the invasion of Crimea. Day 648 of Special Putin's three-day operations. Big picture. The plucky and determined Ukrainian defenders again have refused to accept the tyranny of the Kremlin on this day. It's been two and a half weeks since our last update, let's get into it. Snow covers the northern half of Ukraine, and almost all of Russia. Since the beginning of Putin's special operation, Ukraine has destroyed an estimated 43.8 billion US dollars worth of Russian equipment. Ukrainian partisans have had a successful week finding valuable targets in Russia's east. 88 combat engagements have been counted in Ukraine in the last 24 hours. Like and subscribe to help the cause. Dnieper Line. Ukraine continues to hold Mulipal footholds on the east bank of the Dnieper near Kherson. Rotation of Ukrainian troops seems to be occurring relatively regularly. Effective Kremlin counterattacks appear yet to be found, as talks of larger crossings continue. Zaporizhia Front. This front has been relatively quiet for almost a month. With the exception of a few tree line expansions outside of Robotyne, and some back and forth over the high ground outside Staromyorsky, both sides appear to be on hold in this area. East Front, Donetsk. Easily the most busy area of the war in the last month. Fighting is ongoing at Marienka, Avdiivka, and now Holivka. At Marienka it appears, that a ten-year battle for the remains of the town may have concluded with the Kremlin taking the majority in the last week. Around Avdiivka, after weeks of assaults burning dozens of tanks and hundreds of men per day, the Kremlin appears to be satisfied taking farmlands north of the city to put pressure on the areas around the Holivka suburbs. In Holivka Ukraine has been spotted making a number of attempts to enter the suburb and factory streets, and fighting may be ongoing as we write. Bakhmut area. After a spring of attempts by Ukraine to take Yahidne, the Kremlin has pushed the defenders almost five kilometers south from that village. Ukraine continues to hold territory at the edge of Bakhmut. Oskil border front. In fighting around the Donetsk River, Ukraine appears to have halted the attacks of the Kremlin in the forests west of Severodonetsk. However, on the hillsides east of the Torsk to Novosadov reservoirs, the Kremlin has taken a couple of square kilometers of farm fields, while fighting downhill. In daily fighting outside Kupiansk, the Ukrainian defenders have held almost perfectly since our last report. Northern border. Ukrainian successes inside Russia's borders have been numerous, we'll speak more about those later. The Kremlin continues to shell everything standing for miles near the border, indiscriminately hitting civilian and military targets alike. Black Sea. After a once in 100 year storm scoured the western shores of Crimea and Sochi, Ukraine wasted no time in striking one of the few remaining Kremlin airbases. According to images from locals, extensive and expensive Kremlin beachfront fortifications, bunkers, and tunnels have been completely washed out. Zelensky suggests that Odessa will be receiving new anti air defense and combat patrol craft to assist merchant ships in traveling in and out of the country. Ukraine world related. Nobody on earth is carrying a bigger pair than Ukrainians, and that continues to be validated. The two railways connecting the Pacific Russian coast with Western Russia have been disabled by two different explosions within 48 hours. In the first event, a 15 kilometer tunnel took damages from diesel and jet fuel cars set on fire. In the second, a large bridge was destroyed high in the mountains. The Russian tank factory in Chelyabinsk suffered serious damages. Germany has sent multiple packages of aid since our last report, most recently enough to outfit a company of combat engineers. The Netherlands have announced they plan to send 2.5 billion euro worth of aid to Ukraine in 2024. France is planning to send $200 million worth of aid in 2024. We aim to bring more. Like and subscribe.